The ReZero community is filled with different kinds of fans. You've got your Rem stands and Amelia stands going to war with one another, you got the web novel elitists, and you got your anime onlys. But there is one type of fan that often goes overlooked, and those are the Subaru simps. The Subaru simps, or rather the Natsuki simperus, are notorious for defending every action Subaru makes like it's the gospel. These fans are like the IRL version of the witch cult. Today, we're going to see some of these scalding takes from these fans. Before we get into things, I want to stress that do not harass these people. It's not that deep, and this is all in good fun. So this is a post from the ReZero subreddit that has a lot of upvotes, titled, He's too good for them. Can we just take a moment to acknowledge that our main character, Natsuki Subaru, is too good for the Amelia camp? I mean, yes, despite his flaws and his mistakes, I absolutely believe that the Amelia camp really do not deserve Subaru at all on their team. First, I like how this person starts off by saying that Subaru is so much better than the Amelia camp, and then instantly backtracks by saying that Subaru does have flaws and makes mistakes. Like, make up your mind. I mean, most of their members have either killed him, Rom or Rem, or put him in painful situations, Otto and Garfield. And, in the end, Subaru has the good grace to forgive them and decide that their lives were worth saving. In Arc 1, yeah, he was a bit conceited, but when he realized that he had returned by death, he could have taken the easy way out and left Amelia at the loot house. But he chose the hard way and went back for her. Arc 2. After being killed by Rem and Rom, he could have left the mansion and let Rem stay dead, but it definitely takes balls to jump off a cliff like that. In Arc 3, Otto shoved him off his cart and abandons him to the White Whale, and Subaru still forgives him. Subaru could have, like in Slothif, taken Rem and run off to Kararagi and taken the easy way out. Okay, so this person is either forgetting or left out that all the members of the Amelia faction were not complete dicks to Subaru. The reason why Subaru decided to save Amelia is because she had saved him first and felt that he owed it to her, as she was the first person in this world to show him kindness. Also, Subaru noticed how kind Amelia was to everyone, like how she always helped out the lost little girl, even though it would inconvenience her. Not to mention, Amelia arrived at the loot house much earlier in a loop where she did not meet Subaru, so you could make the argument that Subaru actually got in her way and caused her to die at Elsa's hands. As for Arc 2, Subaru was suspected to be a spy or a member of the witch cult because of the witch's scent on him. In the loops Rem and Rom killed him, Subaru knew the entire layout of the mansion or how things worked, even though it was his first day. If that isn't sus, I don't know what is. You can't blame Subaru or Rem and Rom. Subaru had no idea he had a lot of miasma on him. Rem and Rom were trying to protect Roswell and the others. Subaru only jumped off the cliff to save Rem and Rom is because he remembered how during one of the loops while he was having a terrible nightmare, they held his hands to comfort him. During Arc 3, when Otto pushed Subaru off the carriage, Otto was under the influence of the fog and pushed Subaru because Subaru himself said that the white whale is drawn to him. On top of that, Otto felt guilt for ditching Subaru after the fog's effects were off and he sent his dragon back for him. Also, I'm not sure why this person randomly threw in the sloth if when they were just talking about Otto. There are many examples of showing how the Amelia camp does not deserve Subaru, but to be completely honest, to face death many times over, some of them excruciatingly painful over and over and still go back for them, makes Subaru a shining diamond and the Amelia camp lumps of coal. I'm not saying they're bad, just that they really don't deserve him. Even though they don't know about how much Subaru has suffered for them, Subaru is still too good for them. Another thing that's hilarious is that when Rem gave her speech in episode 18, people said that she's too good for Subaru, whereas it's the other way around. If Subaru didn't kill himself in Arc 2, episode 18 wouldn't have happened. Rem would have been dead and never have given her speech. Subaru could leave the Amelia camp and take the easy way out anytime he feels like it and lives a life as if he didn't get summoned or the sloth theft where he doesn't return by death at all. Yet he still has a resolve to protect them, no matter how difficult it gets. If anything, despite his flaws, Natsuki Subaru is a blessing that the Amelia Amelia camp doesn't deserve. Calling Subaru a shining diamond and the Amelia camp lumps of coal is really funny to me, because this implies that Subaru is literally perfect even though the person who made this post said that he has flaws and mistakes, but the Amelia faction, yeah they suck and don't deserve good things. As for the From Zero scene, both sides are wrong. Rem isn't better than Subaru, and Subaru isn't better than Rem. They are both people who suffer from inferiority complexes and have a heartfelt conversation with one another. Subaru can't do everything on his own, and he needs the others just as much as they need him. Teamwork makes the dream work after all. 
To say one side doesn't need the other is wrong and ignores how the story consistently shows that asking for help is okay and that you can't always do everything on your own. No one in the Amelia faction is perfect, they all have flaws, but the beauty is in how they always come together to help each other out in the end. Like how Amelia comforted Subaru in Arc 2, or how Rem told Subaru to stand up in Arc 3, and how Otto stood by Subaru's side in Arc 4. Anyway, it's time to look at the last Natsuki Simperu post. This one is a comment from Jake's Subaru Beats Women video. I like how Tape makes Subaru feel like a real person because realistically no one is actually good. It all just depends on what path you choose and the events in life that happen to you. Everyone has the potential to be a bad person and everyone has the potential to be a good person. Yes, real people apparently beat women. I can't believe that people are willing to reach to make Subaru look better by saying that good people don't exist. There are good people in the world. They are rare, but they do exist. I want to believe that this person meant that Subaru is a real person because there's always a chance that Subaru goes down the wrong path as seen in the what ifs. Because everyone has bad thoughts go through their mind, such as taking something that isn't yours or just lying. Which I agree with, but that doesn't mean you're a bad person because you considered lying or doing something bad. But knowing Natsuki's Simperus, they would justify Subaru killing a dozen puppies before admitting that he's flawed and not perfect. But yeah, let me know if you would like to see more VZero commentary videos like this by leaving a like or subscribing. Thank you for watching, and I hope you all have a great day.